Hello, foodie beauties. Um, so I haven't really covered this much um, because I've had other things going on over the last couple of days. Like, for instance, today was my first... We had a massive... Like, they were calling it a Category 5 storm. Not a hurricane, okay? But a storm atmospheric river storm that dumped so much rain over Southern California that um, like there it, all you have to do is like take a look at this and you'll see that um, basically uh, two rivers of mud conjoined in uh, Beverly Hills and ended up burying a bunch of cars. So the Richies got really affected, but I'm sure there's lots of other communities that also, we also had like, you know, really the LA River really swelled. I'm sure the Santa Ana River did too, because um, Orange County had the biggest um, flooding on Tuesday. So anyway, I had changed my start date for physical therapy to today. So I had my first day, and it was very interesting. I'll tell you all about it. I have to take four different segments, but I didn't, I'll be real, day one, I did not make it through all four, because I was just too tired. Um, it's been too long since I've tried to do something like this, and I'll tell you what happened. So the first thing we did was an art class. I don't really understand the logic behind this, but um, for about an hour, I uh, was painting wooden blocks that said love and peace. And... Um, just watching my hand tremors as I'm trying to get in the little crevices and stuff. So that was segment one. Segment two was physical therapy. And um, I got a slow introduction to that of just some light stretches um, that were all sitting down. All sitting down. And then I had a heat wrap placed around my knee. And then I went in for the group therapy. Group therapy is when they give you a presentation about how you might be feeling about your pain. How people might be perceiving whether or not you really have pain. Or what sort of burden that puts on them that you have pain and they might have to help you. Or whether that limits you from doing certain things. Um, you know, it just kind of talks through like the difficulties of, of having a pain experience. It was during this segment that I started falling asleep. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I just like... I um, almost fell out of my chair because I was falling asleep. So I um, did check out and I left. The fourth segment was supposed to be yoga. I don't know how the hell I'm going to do yoga, but I guess I'll find out tomorrow. But in the meantime, speaking of people who don't take care of their health... <laughs> Let's take a look at these three videos that Mr. Snowflake has done. So two of them are kind of like trailers. So we got opening credits, the series teaser, and then he goes over how upset she is. Despite the fact that he's done uh, material about her before. But this time, I guess it stings, y'all. The legendary X Mark Lasers and whispers in your ear. You're the reason daddy's not here. Lion, lion tells you that success comes to those who never stop to rest. Lion, lion, lead you to believe beauty and attention. Bye. 
don't know, y'all. It looks pretty rad to me. I know she's pretty freaked out about it, but when you watch the second teaser, I, I, I don't know what, like, it doesn't really make sense that she's having an actual, an actual, like, conniption fit about this particular content. It, um, it looks like he's doing a pretty tasteful job of, um, so she had a problem with the song because it said daddy left because of you or whatever. Um, but that, as he explains in his snowflake response to her rant, uh, is a response. It, it, it's basically that that's what she's thinking in her head. You know, she's blaming herself for what happened with daddy. And that's what the song is about, according to Mr. Snowflake. So it's not exactly, hey, this actually is your fault. No, it's, uh, you feel responsible for it, even though you were, a, like, a toddler or an infant when it happened, right? Okay, let's look at the next one. The thing is, Chantal, I mean, that trailer was really well done. It makes you seem endearing. It makes us, you know, feel sorry for you. It makes us look at, you know, younger pictures of you when you actually were quite pretty. And um, I'm not really understanding what your problem is with him doing this unless... You know what? I was talking to my boyfriend about this. And I said, if somebody was going to, if if Mr. Snowflake or somebody similar was going to do a documentary about me using all of the material that I have on my channel, um, I think I would reach out and say, hey, I, I just would appreciate the opportunity to review the content and provide a response to it if you know put it in context right and I don't know that you've done that I I think that instead you went on your live channel 
and just had a nasty react to it rather than actually offer the opportunity to become a part of the documentary by doing interviews with him and putting everything in context. Oh yes, I remember when that happened. This is what really happened and this is what I was feeling in this moment, right? Don't you think that would be a better approach than just putting out like a 16 minute I don't care. It's not, it's not phasing me. <laughs> right? Okay, let's look at the, uh, the react thing. Uh-oh. What'd you do? Tell I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> What'd you do? Rain shot? Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Right there. Bear with us. Close enough, I'm on. Right. Where am I looking? That one. Hi, everybody. Uh, Hello. I haven't done this in ages. I haven't done a reaction in ages. I wasn't going to do one anytime soon. But then, oh, that camera. But then something happened. Yes. I was having a bath. And then my phone started blowing up. I got two text messages. By the way, I find it very interesting that you're having a bath because most men just take showers, but okay. Uh, somebody called Foodie Beauty is kicked off about the the uh, opening credits thing I did. For That's hilarious that he keeps calling her Foodie Beauty throughout this. Um, I don't know if this is intentional because she is the subject of his documentary. You would think that he would know her name is Chantal, you know? But okay, all right. 15 minutes and 28 seconds. <clears throat> so we're gonna listen. I've listened to the first however many minutes, but apparently she has a good old rant. Am I recording? Right. Hi everybody, if, you, if, you, if you're new to the channel, hiya. Right. How do I screen record again? Hello. Booty booty. That's right. <laughs> hey guys, hey. I know your girlfriends love to watch me. So what better way to say I love you this Valentine's Day than to get your special someone a personalized video from me on Cami? I was gonna get Jimmy one of these. I still might. Well, I might not now since you've been ranting about me. Might yeah. not. You know, get yourself and don't delay. Make Valentine's Day a special day. Maybe I shouldn't drink water because I'm going to spit it all over my laptop. Yeah. All right. Hello. So, uh, today I woke up and chose violence. <gasps> um, this video is going to be me addressing these dumb. She woke up and chose violence. For real? Chantal? I mean, he's done stuff about you before. Like, why are you so freaked out? Documentaries made about me. Well, they're not just about me. There are a lot made about other creators as well. Um, I'm doing this because... For the record, foodie, that's your mm -hmm. real name. Um, we've had a few videos made about me. And I ran it about none of them. Because there's a chance... And they hated me, so... <laughs> that just like the rest picks on content creators they see as failures i guess and it's usually um either amber lynn or i i find it weird that a grown man chooses to obsess over the lives why you should totally be psyched about this this is going to be the best boost to your channel ever the two same women basically beating a dead i've made videos about dozens of people Horse, but whatever. Speaking of beating dead horses, figuratively, not literally, of course, this new quote unquote docu-series. It is a docu quote unquote. Condescend much? Maybe I'll put that in the script. Oh, no. yes. Foodie Beauty could be very condescending. Say how you like that. Uh, being made about me. Mulligan, uh, the script so far, I think I thought was um, 
it was really fair. It's got the why am I looking there? That one. It's got really um yeah, really fair. It's got nice bits about her. It'll cover all the all the horrible stuff, but I'm not gonna like I don't know. Kick off and call her an idiot. I'm, maybe I will now, I don't know. Will not, by the way, spoiler. <laughs> will not contain anything new that you haven't heard a million times before. It might not, I don't know. I've, I've watched as much as I can for episode one, for stuff for episode two and three. There might only be three or four episodes. I'll watch as much as I can. You might have heard it all, all before. A lot of people won't have, because I... No, but you know what it'll do is it's going to filter out all the nonsense material and just get us to the highlights so that we have like a full chrono uh, chron chronology is that the word i'm looking for of what's been going on with you your channel how you rose how you've fallen like all of it right because you do know you've fallen and your um, channel is not doing well so this could actually be very good for your channel um and I don't know why you're freaking out. A lot of people have said to us, they know who, they know the name Foodie Beauty, but they don't know anything about her, about you, Foodie. Um, so the the docu series, it'll uh, it'll be good for those people. But even if the people who are experts, um, they probably know more than me. And yeah, they'll probably have heard all this before. But hopefully, it's presented in a way that's entertaining, interesting to watch. Or also from uh, these few other overly dramatic, embellished, bullcrap documentaries, um, such as Canadian Horror Story, for example. I watched that one. I watched that one a couple of days ago. First off, a documentary is supposed to be educational. There's nothing educational about me, <laughs> about these videos. There is. There's loads in there that we're going to learn. Just wait. Just wait. Stop panicking. Just wait. Videos because you are only able to make conclusions based on limited information about my life. What is educational about me eating and telling stories from my past, for example? Well, now I know that you've pooped. Well, I, I would assume that it's educational in the sense of how did you actually start earning an income putting this stuff online? How did that become a thing? How did you actually get to the point where, you, according to you, you were making $28,000 per month doing this type of content? So you tell me, why is that not educational? That seems like a business case study. On somebody's walls after a threesome, that's educational. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll let you, I'll let Foodie, am I addressing Foodie or just people watching this? I don't know. I'll let Connor Foodie. Okay, I'll just talk to people and we'll assume she's not watching. Um, no, no, for, for most of it, well, not for most of it, but for a lot of it, I'm going to let her speak and tell her side. But uh, anyway, we'll keep going. My life is really not that interesting. It's no. amazing! I just said poop on walls after no threesome. To warrant three hours... And actually, that part in the script is in the part uh, where I talk about how much I like you, so I might put it in the main part now. An in-depth character study that these creators fabricate. Not only that, they try to analyze me from what seems to be a psychological approach or, uh, you know... About I haven't a clue about that stuff. I mean, I did do it in college and then dropped out after three months. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. How to do it. I don't know how to do eating it. disorder or other matters when they're not I wonder if her goal is to actually be an internet villain and um, attract an audience that way because um, it just seems so bizarre the way she approaches uh, her channel and she's gotten to the point where uh, more people are watching the react channels than are, are watching her directly right um because nobody wants to give her clicks anymore nobody wants to give her the ad sense um they're all getting sick of her nonsense so um 
it's very interesting that she did this 16 minute rage. Um, I woke up with violence in my heart, right? Um, because it seems like she wants to advertise it. Otherwise, I don't know that a lot of people who watch her channel directly would have even known that this was coming out. I'm qualified to do that. I'm not, no. I'm not. some edgelord living in your parents' basement, reading Kiwi Farms all day. Right. First of all, I wish I lived in my parents' parents' basement. <laughs> Let's save so much money. What else did you say? What's an edge lord? I don't know. Uh, you know about my eating disorder or other matters when they're not even qualified. And I'm on your side about the eating disorder. Just wait. I was going to make a really nice little series about you. Now you might not be so nice. Do that. <laughs> Being some edge lord living in your parents' basement, reading Kiwi Farms all day. I've never used Kiwi Farms. I don't know how. I, I, I tried once when I was doing a... Oh, was it Cyrax? I want to say Cyrax. I think I started when I was doing a uh, reading Kiwi for Cyrax. And then two minutes later, it got shut down. So I, I don't know how to use Kiwi Farms. Does not make you a credible source of information. Yeah, I know. I've heard of Kiwi Farms from quite a few people now. Uh, different live streamers. I I've yet to actually see the channel or check the channel out. I'm not the credible source of information you are. I'll let you speak. You are not doctors, you are not therapists, and you are certainly not experts on my life. So I know that's why I let you speak. Just weird. Dumb documentaries. It starts <gasps> off with some dramatic cinematic intro. Imagine. Like, how am I that interesting? No, no, it starts off with you to explain in your upbringing. Right, I'll tell you my little secret structure. Yeah. It's not really a secret. I want everybody to be on your side at first, so I'll let you tell your stories. At first. <coughs> Excuse me. Fully out of water. I'll let you... I'll let you tell your story. Um, and the sad stuff about your dad leaving, that's, that's not good. Uh, what else was there? Was, um, you struggled with food since you were a kid. I think these things will get people on your side. But I might take all that out now. Anyway, I guess I'm flattered. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. So the music is super. <laughs> Maybe I should have read it. I should have waited. Because it sets the tone of sadness, hopelessness, super annoying. Be anyway, I guess I'm flattered. Are oh, you or not? So the music is super annoying. Be the music's amazing. Because it sets. It took two hours to find that. The tone of sadness, hopelessness. Hey, no, it does not. It's amazing. Hold on. Where's the music? People are loving it. Oh, Who was it? Liar, liar by. Oh. We can I say Joy Hannah. Because I already played I think. it. The music's amazing. What are you talking about? We can skip through this part because I already played it. I don't know if I skip too much, but well, let's skip a lot anyway because it's kind of boring. Let's see what else. Oh yeah, people like to throw the fact. Oh yeah, oh. <laughs> They're watching, um, oh, what was I watching the other week? But they have a Minnesota, I know she's from Canada. Oh, what's it called? Fargo. Fargo. Sorry. As a 15 year old, I faked an unaliving incident for attention. Oh, I've got that bit. I was very mentally ill. I was at- So one of the mods on um, Frenchie's French Fried Girls channel is um, formerly Chantel's best friend Shannon from high school and uh, she is now best buds with Frenchie and she claims that the story that Chantel keeps telling about this unalive situation where she ended up in a group home is not the real story that in fact that was her story it was stolen from her and this is something that a lot of us have complained about with with foodie beauty is that she's watching our channels and taking our health information our stories and um, claiming it as her own which is why her entire sciatica thing was so disjointed because she was co compiling a lot of different health experiences together that don't work together. They, it does not 
jive. Um, and Shannon said the real reason that she got um, put in a group home is because she put she was 15 at the time. She put her five-year-old sister while she was babysitting her in a dryer and turned it on. So, um, this girl is sociopathic, y'all. Admitted to inpatient, even, and I had a lot of issues. And I was drunk. Again, that was 25 years ago. Okay. So get out of my face with that. Some of you haven't even been alive that long. Right. You did choose violence, didn't you, God? Why are you all still ruminating and obsessing over my past when it's something I've moved on from? I can't make videos about your future. Just wait. I just... <laughs> Certain incidents I have learned from and moved on. I grew up. As no, that's good. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of making stupid mistakes when you're younger. And then you learn from them. I'm, I use it every time. Rocky, you have your trials, you overcome them. People like you, you're a better person for it. Just, sure. you should have waited until you, you watched the series. It's going to change now. So the whole you thing ruined it. Mattered. I don't talk about that at all anymore. Sorry, keep it wrong. Sorry for you. from. Certain incidents I have learned from and moved on. I grew up. As for the whole thing with Natured, I don't talk about that at all anymore, if you haven't noticed. For talk about it now. reason, I've moved on. So should all of you. That was a deeply traumatic time in my life, and the victim shaming and exploiting the I'm situation... I'm not going to victim shame you. If you're a victim, I'm not going to. It's gross how people don't believe my story, even though there is video evidence of them being an abuser on video. Yeah, if there's video, I, I'm not, I'm not going to twist it, mate. <laughs> Just weird. Oh, and Doodoo, you can keep your abusive kitchen burning about... Dee Dee. Is it Dee Dee? Because he had a girlfriend, yeah. didn't he? Dee Dee. I haven't, I haven't watched that yet. I'm still new. I'm still learning. I've still got plenty to watch. Only dancing. A cigarette money leeching man, baby. But anyway, even if no one believes it, I don't care. <laughs> don't care. Join me in part two tomorrow when I run for 40 minutes. I don't care if you make a thousand crappy documentaries about the same subject. I'm only going to make about three or four. Couldn't, I'd love to make a thousand, but... Most of the information provided for the series was not given by me, someone who's actually lived these experiences. It is? The little... Why didn't you reach out to him? And ask if you could be a part of the documentary and put the clips in context. That's what I would have done if it was happening to me. Teaser I uploaded. Uh, it's all you, that bit. It's all you. A lot of it is you. I'm not going to just make stuff up for a laugh. Francis, but rather from haters or people with a negative view on my life and personality. I don't have them. I've got a huge bit in the script about how much I like you, actually. But I'm... I'm just gonna delete all that. People think they know me and my past more than I do myself, which is just absurd. Obviously, I, I, don't, I don't at all. These documentaries are therefore the least credible sources of information on me out there. Yes, sure, I have an eating disorder. I can't follow through with much and blah blah blah. We all heard this before. But I'm I know I, I feel for you on that one. I'm still here and I'm still trying and I'm not giving up. Most times you're wrong about me. Sometimes there's no surprise though, uh, seeing as you listen to critics quote unquote critics who are big jokes they say i'm not married for example and you believe it without proof even she's not married I, I assumed you were i didn't after i've stated that it is not legal for us to live wouldn't a marriage record be a matter of public record in a western country because kuwait has a lot of western influence right so if they are performing marriages um, in Kuwait, they would be documented so that they would be transferable to other countries. But for some reason, nobody can find this documentation on you. Together here, if not married. No one listens. I believe you. Stories are made up because I'm not living the reality you have created for me. I like that cardigan you wear, actually. your narrative. You were wrong. Love cardigan. Most of you still think it's only a matter of time before I return to the dumpster fire life, and some are sick and waiting for this. Some want me back with the abuser for entertainment. This is a bit dumpster fiery. Uh, no, I don't want you back with, an, uh, with somebody like that. Can you imagine? Be Sounds like a study on yourself would be more interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a documentary on myself. Why I'm such a narcissist, mate. A documentary on myself. It's going to be a silly one. But, um... 
choices in life, but I learn from them and I move on. Some I'm still working on. It's my life, my journey. Good. All this drama is for nothing. People you should start the drama. I was going to do it. Off my past for profit. Another thing people need to knock it off with is this accusing me of exploiting things that happened to me in my life. Okay, Chantal. So do you not want to be an internet celebrity in air quotes anymore? Because that's basically what happens is you get covered. You get covered by React channels, you get covered by news, you get covered by documentaries. That is part of celebrity life. So why are you complaining about it every single fucking day? For fuck's sake. It's my life. I'm allowed to tell my story. And no one, I'm, I'm letting you tell it. Because a lot of, like I said, no, so, so being silly. a lot of people said they know the name Foodie Beauty, don't know much about her. Because they only watch Amber stuff. So I thought, oh, this is perfect. I'll make a, a three, four part series. There you go. Six, eight hours. Watch that. Twice if you want. Watch that. Then you know who she is. Done. That, that's it. The only one exploiting things at this point are reactors and these dumb documentary makers. Pulpy Syntax, he, he's, he's worse than me. And Zachary, they love exploiting you. I'm on your side. I'm not. The past is the past. <laughs> Move on. Move on, Pulby. So, I'm so when those silly ears. To talk about my experiences, but you are allowed to talk about my experiences. No one's left. Yes, I struggle with problems still in life, but they don't keep me, me down. Because why should they? We were designed to overcome things God throws at us. Read yeah. the Quran. It will help you understand these concepts. Oh, time. People try so hard every day to bring me down, and it doesn't work, and it never will. Examine your heads and think of why you so desperately want someone to fail. It's a bizarre common ground. I genuinely, well, I, I was telling people, I genuinely thought I'll, I'll do a fair three, four part series on her. Uh, it'll be really good, really entertaining. Um, it'll mention the bad stuff she's done. It'll mention the good stuff. And it'll just be nice and fair, and it'll show somebody who's flawed, but... I don't know. I might just turn it into a big hit piece now. Very you nice. a loser! I just do that for world, and that's six one hours. Of the reasons that community is a pile of dog crap. It exploits the same overweight women while most of the Gore World people are obsessed overweight. Is it exploit? Or is it people making videos on YouTube and then others making videos about them? Like I said, I've had one, two, three, four, I don't know. A lot of videos made about me, all haters. It's it's fair game, it's it's tough titties. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. Uneducated, uncultured weirdos. Anyway, yeah. I wanted to address that. I'll give you that. That's fair. Come and ask me, have you seen the trailer for the new series on you? I don't care. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> well, I'm starting to like her again now. I, I don't care. What makes you think I care? Yeah, of course. Because you haven't a breath in 11 minutes. And I don't care. I've also had videos made about me by a couple of weird ass stalkers on online. Um, and you know, there's not much you can do about it. You can try and react to it, but you're just bringing attention to it. I think the best thing to do is just ignore it and move on. I tried to report it. YouTube wouldn't take it down. So what am I going to do? You know? If they want to um, catch my face in the middle of talking um, and obscure it and, you know, just get me like mid-sentence and then change the lighting and uh, make it look like a terrible picture, <clears throat> not much I can do with that, you know? Um, if they're going to try and download some of my stuff or screen cap some of my stuff um, out of context, not much I can do. But um, if it's very serious, which it was in the case of my MAGA neighbors, um, I did address it. I don't know who that is. I have, so, I have like almost 7,000 people on my Facebook, um, following me on Facebook. And I get contacted by these people all the time. And usually I don't even know who they are. My apologies. If you don't like my content, I mean, I like some of your content. In, here's an example of another example of Gore World being ridiculous. Most of the reactors can't stand mukbangs, but watch every one I make in a two hour live stream. Weirdos, voila.
Anyway, I'm done giving my opinion on these matters, but to summarize the outrage... No, you know, you've got three minutes left. ...an exaggerated contrived drama for views... I genuinely won't exaggerate uh, anything. It'll all, be, it'll all be fair. ...stupid mm -hmm. and entertainment fit for those with low intelligence. <gasps> No, I'm going to exaggerate. No, just because I give my opinion on something doesn't mean I'm affected or bothered by it. <laughs> You've only said that four times. Say it a few more, so I believe. Talk about every single thing I do and screech about it for three hours straight. I won't I'm screech. Super bothered then. I just get oh. asked a lot about my thoughts on all this criticism, quote unquote, not constructive, most of it. And these are my thoughts. Oh, and by the way, some advice is given out of caring and a good place. I'm not attacking you people. You're attacking me. You people. Um, lots of us have given you actual positive constru constructive criticism, and you haven't listened to it whatsoever. So I don't, I don't know what to tell you. We've talked about, well, if you try this workout or if you... You know, I eat less of these particular items. Or, you know, I personally suggested, why don't you join a choir? You enjoy singing, and that will um, get you to breathe in and out more. It will improve your lung capacity. It will be healthier for you. We give you ideas and suggestions all the time. But that's not what you're listening for. You're listening for us saying oh my god that's so stupid <laughs> which we are gonna say <laughs> we are gonna say that it shows violence oh told a lot uh, my channel is tanking and i'm boring the channel looks really good you upload nearly a hundred thousand subs get one of these soon if you uh keep at it fruity love i don't see it that way i'm at a different phase <laughs> For me, it's exciting. And even if I'm battling health issues and an eating disorder, I'm still grateful for all God has given me. And I don't place my self-worth in the words of Gore World. And I'm not bothered by any of these reactors. Or how much money I make. I saw one of these stupid documentaries um, uh, talking about Boogie2988, another YouTuber. And while, yes, he has done controversial, not-so-nice things, Sometimes the whole documentary was keeping track of his net worth and how much money he had. I was going to say, is this one of mine I made on him? But uh, did I go into money? I don't think I did. Is this the guy who um, got caught um, trying to pick up an underage girl? Is that who we're talking about? Am, am I mistaking the screen names here? Um, the, the really vulgar guy who was on online um, making a ton of money and then uh, got caught in a sting basically trying to pick up an underage girl is that who we're talking about or is this somebody else I can't remember I don't think she's talking about mine here I don't think he even says he's worthless at one point because he has no money <laughs> money does not determine your worth as a person I know the sad music documentary. I've got none. Basically, I'm worthless. Doesn't seem worthless because they are broke. Maybe God made him broke to teach him that his net worth is not measured in dollars and cents. Maybe he's broke because he spent it all on hookers. But it could have been God as well. You never know. Yeah. That's for him to learn. <laughs> I will never ever let money affect my emotions or gratitude for life. This is one big. What are you about money for now? I'm <laughs> Look, it was a one minute little. Uh, what was it? Opening credits. Just to get everybody, just so everybody knows there's a, there's a foodie series coming. Because people keep saying in the comments, oh, um, I enjoyed the shit by the algorithm series. Uh, I'll watch whatever you do next. So I said, oh, I'm doing the foodie series next. And I've said that about 20 times. So I thought, oh, we'll, we'll tell everyone yeah, what we're doing. In life that has been so valuable to me. Wealth is not monetary to me at all. At one point when I was making, let's say, $20,000 a month, <sighs> well I done. wasn't happy. I blew through it just like Boogie did. So to make 20 grand a month, I need to be more like foodie. Okay. Right, can somebody make a, a little series on me and I'm going to rant for 15 minutes and go, I'm not bothered though. And I don't care about And I have to pretend to get married <laughs> and move to... Even I'm kidding. I believe you're married. I believe you're married. How can I regret an experience I needed to happen to learn from it? To I, learn that, I agree, yeah. that money, I had to lose it first. This is how I try to look at life in a positive manner. It's not possible to avoid making human error. The important thing I, is I to realize they will happen and learn from them. If you I, 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 I don't think uh, 
most of us make the kind of errors that you make. Chantal. Um, you know, not all of us are out there trying to buy men. We're not out there uh, moving to a Middle Eastern country to marry somebody who needs Canadian papers, who we met on Tinder um, three weeks earlier or something like that. I, I mean, we're not all making the same level of mistakes. Not all of us are um, using drugs and uh you know, talking about it on our live streams, right? I don't think we're all making the same kind of mistakes. So, sure, everybody's human. We all make mistakes. Um, you know, perhaps I handled a, situ a conversation inappropriately because I let my anger get out of control, you know? And I, I, you know, said things that I didn't, um, that I shouldn't have said. Right? That's a mistake. Perhaps I missed a bill. And my water got shut off. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Now I gotta handle that. Right? That's a mistake. Perhaps I made a mistake by rattling a gate and uh, trying to go canvas a duplex property and ended up getting bit by an attack dog. That was a mistake that cost me dearly, that disabled me permanently. Okay? <laughs> but it's not the same kind of mistake as what you've put online. We're, on the same, we're like the same person, you and I. We're not so different, you and I, foodie. Making the same error, you haven't learned how Except to. I've got better cards. Not the problem yet. Right. It's okay. Forgive yourself and be patient. Okay. Trust and turn to God. He's in control of your life when you can't be. Anyway, you can make one thousand nine hundred and eight documentaries about me, as I've said. <laughs> right. You said I can't do it. When do I do? When I make one thousand nine hundred. And my past, and the turd chef. I don't give a flying crap at all anymore. The what? And my past, and the turd chef. What's turd chef? Nader. She's talking about Nader, but she is so overly fixated with flatulation and um, poop. Uh, so it's pretty clear that... And she, she made a statement on one of her live streams that she was already aware of some of Salah's fetishes. Very interesting. Turn or turn. Made documentaries about me, as I've said, and my past, and the turd chef. She said turd, didn't she? Sorry. Sorry. Made documentaries about me, as I've said, and my past, and the turd chef. I don't give turd a flying crap at all anymore. That I promise you. Again, same crap, different dramatic, cinematic intro. All. That, that's amazing. Intro. Turd chef. I assume that's um, Salah. Is he a chef? No, it's Nader. And all the text, I don't, I, I don't care about the text. Turd chef. Is that what is that? It's the one that she had a three-way with him and Dee Dee, and then she wiped her feces on the wall. That's who it is. It's Nader. People have been calling him. Turd chef. I assume he's a chef. It's got to be him. Is it him? No. All to study. A life I've shared openly myself anyway. I always expose myself because I'm not ashamed to be... I know, people have been sending me the pictures. I'm not ashamed to admit my life... What did, what did, <laughs> they blame on that one on God. ...had many errors and is indeed a speckled axe, but it's also perfectly imperfect. And it is my own and I can't complain. I have a loving family. You, you, you have for 15 minutes. Friends, a loving husband. Yes, there's been a scandal and it's not perfect. I'm, look, I'm, I'm not... That's not your fault. It's not your fault at all, the, the scandal. I can't have been nice. Giving it a chance and there's so much good besides... Good, I don't want, I want you to give it a chance. It's so good since that. And good. if it turns out to be the wrong decision, oh, well, I'll move on. Exactly. You, you don't know if it's the wrong decision in the moment. You can look back with, with hindsight, Captain Hindsight. But you don't know in the moment. Mm -hmm. I hope it does work out with 
to Chef. I, I, hope, I genuinely hope it does. Like I always do. We have a car, a condo by the ocean. Nice, better than me. Pets, travel experience, the freedom to do whatever we want, to travel, and most importantly, I an apartment. It's not a condo. It's not a condo, Chantel. It's an apartment. Unless you're renting from an actual homeowner who owns a condo, which I don't think you are because you've talked about the building having services that you can um, hire, such as a maid service, such as, I think, a laundry service. There were different things that you mentioned that you can hire out of your building. That's not a condo. You're in an apartment. I have my faith. I feel rich in many ways, and none have to do with money. You can always... I don't, I, I don't think I've mentioned money in the script. It's about 60 pages long. I don't think I've mentioned money once. I will now, now that I know it gets to you. Money, money comes and goes. Anyways, thanks for listening. I will end with saying that I will not be watching any of these new series. <laughs> you liar. I know that's a lie. Right. About me or any reaction. If you dislike my docu-series, quote-unquote, mm -hmm. I'll choose violence. And I'll make a video of crime 15 minutes. I never watch their videos directly anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> you, don't, you genuinely don't. And staring at the wall is more productive than watching someone discuss how I stir a pot for three hours or how I walk weird. Anyway, hey, I walk weird. You should have seen the um, the outtakes for the the Burke and Hare documentary I did. I didn't know I walked like a penguin. I was just doing that. I was like, right, walk in the distance, have a serious look on your face. Okay. And I just kept walking. Like, I didn't know I walked weird. Guys, see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. I'm not bothered. Bye. Got a lovely tone of voice. <laughs> Oh, I'm starting to feel bad now. No, that I made her uh, rant. And, oh, is that because of... Well, was that a rant? People say she, like, the Cuba rage rant was meant to be big and there's been some other ones, obviously. I'm going to take credit for that one. Um, God, it was just a one-minute little open credit to get everybody excited. God, that's nuts. Yeah. I, I can't believe she... I, I thought, oh, maybe she'll see the... Yeah, well, that's how she reacts to all the the reactors, and she's basically grouping you into the same category now that you're doing this docu series. The the video, the one minute video, and, and I don't know. I thought, oh, maybe, imagine if she left a comment saying, I don't know something, but I didn't think she'd do a fifteen minute video. Going, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. What makes you think I'm bothered? So, um, I think you should be more upset about the end and oh no, spoilers. Watch the Snowflake sitcom. I thought you'd be more upset about that. Snowflake sitcom, a video or two back from this. I thought you'd be more upset about that, but fine. Oh, no, you're going to watch that now and rant about... I'm not bothered that Jimmy did that. I'm not bothered. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I do feel bad. I know everyone's shouting at us now. Don't feel bad. This is what she wants. She's manipulating you. Yep, that's exactly what she's doing. Okay, so I'll clip it here. And I will make sure that I put the links to all three of the videos that I cited in this particular um, uh, video. And uh, thank you to everybody who has recently subscribed to my channel. Um, last I checked, I am over a thousand. I'm going to wait until that number firms up because it keeps going up and down, I guess. And... Um, I will live up to my promise of doing a live stream with nice clothes and makeup on and my hair, you know, blow dried and all that so that we can have a nice little chat and celebrate um, that my channel is now going to be monetized, you guys. I signed up for it. I don't know all the details of how this works, but if possible this might be the first video I monetize so I thank you for your patience through that but that is going to be super helpful for me um, while I'm on medical leave so thank you